fourth official actually Carville Banton and not Kester Anderson. Thank you for that, Chris. Anyway, Kimara Foster in goal for Waterhouse, Nicole Christian, Andre Fletcher, Kenny Doug Deacon, Elvis Wilson, Denada Thomas, Navarro Blair, Andre Smith, Keith Simpson, Javain Brand, and Damien Bins for head coach Marcel Gale. And they'll be playing with a 4-3-3 formation. And leading goal scorer Javain Bryan, second on the scoring list with six. Let's see what he can come up to today. Denada Thomas needs to have a good game. When he does, Waterhouse plays well. For Portmore United in goal, Tyrone Williams, then Okila Howard, Stephen Young, Akeem Mullins, Jaheen Rose, Siegel Knight, Alex Marshall, Emilia Rousseau, Siobhan Walsh, Martin Davis, and the man with the classic surname, Clayton Peck, for coach Philip Williams. Yeah, standout schoolboy not so long ago, Clayton Peck. 5 3 2 is what Portmore will play. Good to see the likes of Alex Mark. Full match highlights for you now. Alex Marshall, Siobhan Walsh, Martin Davis, Clayton Peck. Peck has a pop from distance. Easy for Kamara Foster in the Waterhouse goal. Long ball over the top. Martin Davis chases this. He was prominent in the first half. Fires the crossing and Walsh got there. But couldn't direct his header goal. What's there was more than enough chance, or there were more than enough chances for Portmore to find a second goal. And then Siegel Knight with this ball. Look at Peck. Beg your pardon, Blair. Not accounting for the speed of Okila Howard, who blows past him, fires the crossing, and Elvis Wilson inadvertently turning it beyond his goalkeeper for 1 0 in the first half. Walsh turns, plays a ball to Howard. Foster had everything behind it. And then Andre Smith on the dribble. Works his shooting angle, but didn't get much on it. Denada Thomas, robbed by Walsh. Walsh runs at Keithy Simpson, drags it by Simpson off the left foot. Look at his kick save. Class from Kamara Foster. And how crucial did that save prove to be to keep the score at only 1-0. And then late, late in the contest, this free kick, side netting. But they'd come again from free kick land. This is Denada Thomas, over the top, Javain Bryan, expert control. Couldn't get the shot, goalwards. He was substituted not long after. And then look at this ball. Inch perfect, measured by Nicoy Christian. Rondi Smith pulls it back, Rivaldo Mitchell snatches at it. And Denada Thomas trying to hang in the air and then direct his header goalwards. Couldn't do all that at the same time. And then the last kick of the game, Keith Simpson. Look at the wall, really wasn't really much of a defensive barrier. And he breached it to Tyrone Williams' is left to bail Marcel Gale's team out at the very, very end. 1-1 between Waterhouse and Portmore United. So, 23 shots overall, 6 on target for Portmore, 5 for Waterhouse. There were 28 fouls, 4 yellow cards, 3 of those yellow cards to Waterhouse players. And Waterhouse had 52% possession. Chris Taylor is pitch side with our man of the match, Keith Simpson. Been around so long, you've seen it all. When that free kick came, there was no doubt, we saw from the start that you were adamant you wanted to kick that. You ran away all the contenders, why? Well, as the senior player, first and foremost, you know, I just feel I had to take charge there, you know, I um, took the responsibility and it paid off. Was the plan always to go through the wall or you were watching to see how they would have set themselves up? <laughs> yeah, I was watching for the setup and I thought he, he made it a, a bit easier for me, you know, by um, having that one man in line with the post. So it gave me a proper aim, so I took the chance. Gave you a target. Tell me, what is it about this Portmore team that makes it so difficult? Three one-all draws now in a row against them. Well, um, you have to be honest, you know, um, it's a good team, you know, um, that's after the work they are doing, you know, I, I think we also, we don't take our chances whenever we get them, but that's after the team, they have been working hard, it's just, it, 
sometimes it don't happen how you want it, but you have to just go back to the training ground and work hard and just push on until it, get, it gets right. I must ask you this before you go. You were out of the system for a while. You decided to come back and play some more. How important is your leadership, your experience, if this Waterhouse team is to go all the way? And can they go all the way? Well, first and foremost, whatever I decide to do, I always put my all in it. You know, and I have to give respect um, to the coaching staff and the management staff for always believing in me. So I, I'm just trying to repay the faith, you know. All right, Keith, go and rest those legs. We look forward to the weeks to come. Yeah, man, thanks a lot. <laughs> Keith Simpson there. The man of the match. Great performance for him. Great free kick in the way. In the